Hello. Hello. Today, Brandon, <laughs> where are we at and what are we doing? Well, we are in Juneau, Alaska. Uh, the Disney Wonder docked here early this morning. We got off. What you will be seeing coming up is what we've already done, the sled dog um, tour uh, yeah, camp. So be prepared for that. Yeah, sled dog summer camp. That was it. So you are going to be prepared to see some cute doggos. Yep. And right now we are here in downtown Juneau. We are... For the rest of the day, once you see the sled dogs, going to explore the city. So you're going to stay tuned for some of that. Yes. And yeah, we can't wait to show you cannot, the highlights from what we're doing today. Cannot wait. Also, really quick, we said we'd bring it up in today's video. We had an accident yesterday with our mics. So yes. hopefully you can hear us. We are still working some stuff out. But uh, yeah, this is amazing already. It is raining, but ready? And like that, we've left our room. We're in the elevator, and where we go, sled, sled dog, dogs. We're gonna go see all the dogs, normal dogs, elder dogs. I'm giving every dog love. Yeah, let's go give some dogs yeah. some love. So we do give We're the dogs so lots of breaks during the summertime here. Her favorite temperature is about 10 below to 10 yeah. above. So we keep the run short, wow. we give them breaks to cool off. And then of course every time we come in, they got fresh pools of water waiting for them. Yeah. <laughs> John though, he's letting us he's know like, he's I'm already ready. ready to go. <laughs> the beetles are known for their incredibly fast recovery time and always being <laughs> Ready to go, always being loud. During that dinner mm -hmm. run, I had all four on my team, and I was known for having the loudest dog team. Oh, wow. Feel free to pet these two. Hey. <laughs> Both sweet boys. <laughs> hey. Yukon is splitting his brother. He's just as sweet as his brother. He's really friendly. He's running with his uncle today. His uncle's name is Mustang. Hello. Thank you so much today. So this handsome guy is Chocolate Chip. <laughs> chocolate Chip. He's the tallest and biggest of his litter. He's so tall, oh, in fact, bounce. that he can jump over just about any dog. Hi. And that's what I learned Hi. earlier in the summer here bounce. is that all day long Hi. he likes to switch sides and jump over Hi. his partner. And sometimes so his good. partners get tired you about the so time he steps on his Oh, hi. <laughs> So Chocolate Hello. Chip does by himself and he does really well by himself. Yeah, get he's another love. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And he's big enough to help. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he's a really big chocolate guy. Chocolate Chip. He's lead dog, Wick, and his mom's name is Cookie. <laughs> Junior's one of my more honest working dogs. He's always got to flip the bowl and jump into it to cool off. <laughs> <laughs> These are the Beatles, John and Ringo. So John has the darker mask and Ringo, Ringo has the lighter face. Oh, she's so cute. She <laughs> is beautiful. <laughs> And Q-Ball and Slim don't want to wait their turns. They're both really lovable dogs here. Q-Ball especially, he's got a... He thinks he's the star of the show every time. Are you the star of the show? Hello, yes, yes, Come this way and not cram people yep. into the dog team. Come here, guys. Here we go, all around anybody who wants to give him love. Okay, so we're gonna have so much to say. This has been amazing. Sarah's over there. We just got done with the dog sled ride. Absolutely incredible. I can't wait to see what Sarah has to say about it. 
I had to run to the uh, restroom, which is literally an outhouse with the little moon carved in it. Um, so very cool. But uh, we're coming up on Sarah now, and uh, I just this has been incredible. And uh, let's see what she has to say here in just a few minutes. We we'll get a little presentation. All right, so Sarah, I was telling everyone that we just got done, and we're going down steps. Everyone, oh, yeah. we're in the we're in we're on Endor. Um, does everyone remember Return of the Jedi? Sarah, oh. no, no, no. So Sarah, what did you think of the dogs? I loved it. Yep. I am super excited going because up. we are going up. The um, hunter who led the, those are actually, half of those are his dogs. Yep. And he just did the Iditarod this last year and like clearly loves his doggos. We were yep. talking to Dylan in the car and he was telling us like, I'll use her a lot in his career. Whoa! <laughs> we are, so uh oh, we might be bouncing. Now speaking I of the... Like uh, does everyone remember the Temple of Doom? Indeed, do it. <laughs> also, um, did anyone in the 80s play the board game Mushing the Iditarod Trail? Oh, I remember that. Actually. Do you remember that? Yeah. So, do you remember something I, my what? reference? No, so Mushing the Iditarod Trail was a board game he's playing in the 80s. So this has been amazing um, so far. I mean, it's going to get more amazing. Everyone's super friendly and yep. these are... A lot of the people here, these are their, and actually there's some, did you say there's Twitter famous dogs? There's, tw uh, yeah, uh. There's a whole group, I'm going to look them up. We'll post the link yeah, or whatever. Yeah, like, we have the social media dogs this year. Yeah, so this is very cool. We're hoping you can hear us. We might put our mics on and try that in just a few minutes. So, yeah. This has been awesome. <laughs> I want to take the one that just hung out with me for a while. Yeah, it was awesome. So good. All right, so it might be a little loud, um, but Sarah wants a dog so badly now. We have two cats, as you know. But Sarah, are you in a state of grace? I want a dog so bad. I've yeah. been wanting a dog, but I was like, I don't want a dog. Um, leave a comment. Should we get a dog? Leave a comment. Maybe we will. But uh, we have. Right now, we want a big dog. Yeah, we're about to get on our bus right now. Yep. And going to Juno. Yep. And to Juno we go, and our bus should be right. There. All right, so we arrived at Heritage Coffee Roasting Company, and guess what? It's not open, but it says it's open. <laughs> yes, and this time we checked. Their app right now, or their website, says they are open. Sadly, yeah. they're not. So we are continuing yeah. on, and we're going to... We're going to maybe go to see Lasco Institute Art Campus, and there's okay. also a couple of coffee shops on the way, including another location of this. Okay. So, so maybe that location. Maybe that one's open, but it does say this location's open, yeah, but they're but not. Yeah, but it is actually pretty quiet in town so yeah. far, so maybe that's also... Although it's a coffee shop, it's 11 a.m. Yeah. I don't know. Let's go. All right, so we forgot to earlier uh, say in our intro, but Sarah... You know, it's the capital of Alaska. <laughs> It is. Capital city. Yeah. That was where I was like, oh, we should have said that. I forgot, yeah. And you can tell. We are, uh, so, yeah. so yeah, Dylan, our driver up to the summer dog camp, actually told us there's about 30,000. 30,000. Yeah, 30,000 people that live in Juneau. So it's kind of a proper city. So it yeah. kind of makes sense that it's still the capital. It is definitely much more of a city than Skagway was, which felt more like a touristy, not real place. Yeah.
All right, so we made it to the second Heritage coffee shop location that is open and is clearly the bigger location. Yeah, like that. I think it's kind of like, it's like Judah's version of Starbucks. Yeah. Because there's and, a bunch of them. Yeah, and it's, it's pretty cool. Um, I saw they've been around for like 40 years. Yeah, and yeah. what did I get, Sarah, for my... I got there's a sausage, sugar biscuit, so we're trying to get some food. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Brandon's doing that. I did get a pack of nuts um, because I needed something. <clears throat> Those are okay for me. I double check the label. That was a brand of really good, actually. Um, a sausage egg <coughs> muffin from um, it's not an egg. Okay, here's egg. No. Sausage egg muffin from McDonald's, but better. A little more artisanal. Artisanal. I also got a double shot of espresso, which is oh, only yeah. filled up to about right here. Well, it's tiny. But, no, it is. But let's have a sip. Might be hot. Ooh. Oh. Is this wrong? One of, have I said this for an espresso before? No, I don't think so. Hashtag oh, there boy. is. One of the best espressos I've ever had. Um, I'm not kidding. It's not a joke. I'm not exaggerating. Double shot espresso from Heritage Coffee Show. Yeah, and cube cups too. Yeah, I'm awesome. Nice. But let's let Sarah have some stuff. That's nuclear. Oh. That's a brand. Like, you gotta try it. I'm like, that's really hot. <laughs> so. So Sarah has I, I some coffee. I think I brought the phone. I'm sorry. Um, I got a latte with coconut milk. They have quite a few different. They have almond, oat, coconut, and soy. Okay. Um, so I was able to get that. It's from what oh. I could taste. I don't know. My taste buds might be gone now. Um, oh. It was pretty good. Yeah, I burned it pretty bad. But I also got a bag of cashews. Um, and pistachios okay. and some dried cherries because okay. I need something in the stomach. And they do actually have they have like some dried fruit up there. They have a bunch of other little tiny things that I think should be gluten free. So there's some good snacks. Yeah, they don't have anything on the menu that's okay, but we have some other snacks you can get. And this will just put something in my belly until yeah. I get some seafood. Yeah. That coffee was awesome. That was ten out of ten. Uh, yeah, it really was a ten out of ten. Highly recommended. Yeah. Um, if you're coming for some good coffee, you want better than Starbucks. Better local tea. Really good quality. I'm flying Ryan Ryan caffeine right now. My yeah. coffee is very strong. I would highly recommend Heritage Coffee. Yeah. And there's several locations to our journey. So. One was closed. You guys saw that. But yes, our but epic journey. Are Yes, there are several. We are glad. Out of the deal. And it I was did. A nice big location and we got good seats. Yeah, it was good. Um, yeah, really good. We both love Starbucks, but and now I don't think we're saying this. We're pretty picky just because we're here. It was yeah. really good. It was very good, mm -hmm. high quality, strong coffee. Yep. So I appreciate it. Yeah. So what now, Sarah? Well, right now we are buying Sea Alaska mm -hmm. uh, Heritage. This is, I believe, it was opened up a few years ago. Um, it is highlighting the Native peoples mm -hmm. in this area. So I'm hoping you'll be able to check it out. There's also a gift shop that is all handcrafted Native, which is uh, American yeah. art. Uh, and so we'll probably check some of that out, see what it is inside, yep. also, get some information. Yeah, also, when we go in there, we usually, we usually do say something similar to this whenever we go into a place. Um, if we mispronounce anything, we don't mean any disrespect by that or anything at all. Yeah, um, no, yeah. and I think this is going to be, we're really excited because we really want to learn more yep. about the area and the history here and the people here. So this, I think, will be very informative and, you know, if it's something that we're in very quickly because there's just not a lot there, uh, we do want to still highlight this as a place to stop by, and it's yep. really convenient to the ships. Like, really, They're there's a cruise right ship right there, there. Yep. and you've got Heritage Coffee, you've got a lot of the shops, so why not stop by here? Yeah, why not? Um, so, ready to go in and learn yeah. some stuff. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, wow. We ended up spending, first of all, we said we were going to go to the Alaska State Museum. We want to. The gentleman who took us around in here recommended it highly. Yep. However, none of that we were going to have time. We're still shooting for it. We're going to shoot for it. 
it is I wish Skagway Day was the reverse of yeah. Juno Day because we have not enough time to get all the things we want yeah, to do. Yeah, there is so much here and this yeah, is it a so museum? What the is the Alaska yeah. Heritage, they um, have sort of event space for um, the native peoples in this area and also educational opportunities. And then there's a little exhibit in there. And we spent a lot of time a in there. A lot of time and in there. We got a great tour from, from one of the... We um, forgot his name, but we didn't. We never got his name. We didn't get his name, but he did tell us that he is both Clinket and Haida, yep. which are some of the indigenous uh, peoples in Tribes, this yes. Mm -hmm. um, I believe the Haida moved, uh, he From said- British Columbia. Up, up into, into a, what we call Alaska nowadays. Yeah. Um, and those tribes usually don't get along, he said, but his mom and dad surely did. So- yeah, and um, we learned how to pronounce it because I kept wondering how- So it's Clinket. Clinket, Clinket. Yeah. Um, it, This was humbling, the oral histories they have in there on yeah, video amazing. and everything. Yeah, Really quickly, I normally would, say hey does everyone remember a movie or something yeah. i'm gonna say this there was highly recommended because it's reminding me of this and i'm being serious there's a great game on the playstation 4 called never alone um made by native peoples and everything oh, and um, cool. part of the unlockables in it the extra features are oral histories from native people um but yeah highly recommended i just want to throw that game in yeah. there and, and if you do get it get the arctic collection because it includes the dlc we are not sponsored oh, by that, seriously. But no, it's called Never Alone, yeah. and it's great. And also, he was telling us a couple of fun things. Um, first of all, I thought it was super interesting. He said that he himself only knows like two words in yep. Clinket and Haida, and he said they're actually teaching uh, Clinket in school. They had the kids come here, and they were actually learning how to speak it. Yes. So I thought that was really neat. And then he also told us that this Golden Pole here oh. is one of thirty that they are hoping to put all around Juno. This is the first one. Yep. It came up this last year. And then the rest of the town are going to try to put more totem poles up as well. Yeah, so we thoroughly enjoyed it. Was it. Really, he was good. amazing. I don't know if the word is docent here or not. I don't know. I think that was the equivalent. That was the yeah. equivalent, but he was amazing. Um, oh, it was seven dollars. Oh, only seven dollars. Yeah, yeah, highly recommended. Please. And I've the proceeds been, go here, yeah, and it's very informative yeah. and educational. I, so we enjoyed it. I've been joking, but partially. Jewelry, no, come here. Oh, and this we got is all. Oh, we'll later, we got some art too. We did get some art, which we will show. Um, and yeah, anyway, ready to go awesome. on and see what we got next. Maybe the museum, maybe the time. distillery. Want to go? For, well, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, everyone. Denial again. Denial. Okay, so we were going to go to the Tracy's <laughs> Craft Shack location number two, which we have heard is smaller, cheaper, more affordable, and more like Christmas shopping. Yeah. Um, but we have heard it's also closed. It's also so, closed. One of the things that I think we're learning is we are very early in the Alaska cruise season. Um, even if it's season to open, it may not be open yeah. because it's a little early in the season. There's lots of people here. Uh, so your mileage may vary yeah. when you go to some place. So just come up with some backup plans. Yep. But there is a location where Oh, also, we were right next to the museum and decided not to go in. It is. It looks like a... Oh, Sarah. Oh, come on here. Oh. It looks huge. Um, I want to go back. We want to go back, but we would be in there two or three hours. Yeah, less than three hours. Yeah. We have to be back on the ship. I feel like if we go, it'll give this service yeah. to see it. So we're gonna, we also want to go to the gin distillery. So we are going to go there, then go back to the port, and back on the ship. Yeah, back on the ship. And, uh, oh, do you want to say what we're doing back on the ship? Oh, yeah, we are meeting up with some viewers, viewers that yep. we met. Shannon, Sarah, and William. Yep, we're going to meet up with them around 6.30 in Cadillac Lounge. Yeah, it's going to be yep. awesome. We saw them in the Sea Alaska store. Yep. So, so, yeah. We'll them later. Yep. But with that, we're heading to get Sarah some crab and some gin for both of us. Sarah might be getting there, Yep. Let's go. distillery and this place is awesome yeah if this place was in orlando we would be here all the time we would it's be here constantly all gin yeah um so they have a lot of gin and we can actually sample them because they make them on tap um kind of like the least cantina if you go to <laughs> the 
But we got the spruce tip bombs, which has spruce tip in it, and it has some lemon. Uh, it's with their spruce tip gin. And the brandies actually has some like little pine needles in it. And it's all all the herbs and stuff and the lemon is frozen in ice cream. Yeah, so yeah, everything you're seeing is frozen in yeah. one giant ice cream. It's like cool. kind of rad. And then there's rad a um, there's a few different uh, cocktails. There's some cozy seating in here. You can sample the gin, straight. You can sample the cocktails if you would like. And then you have cocktails to purchase. We also got a tiny airport compliant little flask of yep. gin to take. Which we will check on board the ship. I was bummed. They said they run out of the rhubarb gin really early. Um, and then the spruce tip is only seasonal. So okay. They just have some different ones, but the regular gin is great. We had it on the okay. glacier floor. Get day drunk, Sarah. It's really good. I sampled this before, so it's very refreshing. We've been so busy. And she said no food. Hey, um, so we're gonna we're gonna sip this slowly, chill, enjoy the ambiance. Yep. And then we're gonna head back to the ship. Yep. We might try to get a geocache. Oh, the way back. a geocache, but you're also possibly getting the lobster. I might stuff. get some crab. Crab. We're gonna see how it goes. All right, my turn to try the gin. Same drink Sarah got, but Sarah said you said they were out of rhubarb, right? Yeah, they're out of rhubarb gin, which Dylan, who drove us to the Dust Light Dog, actually recommended. He was like, "It's amazing. I don't like gin, and I love that gin. It's good. It's really refreshing. You could drink it very quickly. Beyond refreshing." I can drink this in two seconds. We won't. We'll sit here for a bit. We don't have a lot more planned today. We're going to like finish this. And then, like Sarah said, get her some crab, hopefully. And a uh, geocache or two, probably just one. We'll be back on the ship and uh, enjoy this. This is gorgeous. I do want to say this. This is really reminding me of my childhood. A lot of you know Sarah knows this. I grew up in the Pacific Northwest, Washington State. This is just reminding me of childhood here at Juno, so it's awesome. Are you doing joy? Yeah. Okay, everyone, we just got a geocache. Sarah's over here, but really quickly, The Gray, right there. Does everyone remember the movie starring Liam Neeson called The Gray? Does it not have one of the saddest, most gut-punching endings of all time? One of the saddest movies of all time. Top five sad endings, though. I'm going to quote the poem in entirety from that amazing oh, no. film. Once more into the fray, into the last good fight I'll ever know. Live and die on this day. Live and die on this day. If you've not seen The Gray, starring Liam Neeson, you have to see it, but turn your lights off. Just pay attention to the movie. Enjoy it. Get wrapped up in his struggles, his immense struggles, and be ready for a gut punch of an ending where in the theater, it almost left me in tears and every other guy and probably girl in the theater. But uh, yeah, The Gray, highly recommended sign right there. Not for the movie, but it reminded me. All right, onward, we stopped and did a little more shopping for yeah, family and friends. Family. Yep, some authentic stuff. We yeah. That's again, that's what we like to support, so. Yeah, we got some fun stuff in our family gave us some requests ahead of time. They actually looked at some stores yep. and told us some things they wanted, so we got that. And we got a geocache. We got one geocache. We're going to go try to get the last one here, and then maybe get some crab for me and head back to the ship. And then that's it, yeah. And uh, chill in our room before our Cadillac Lounge tonight. Not a real day. Oh, there it is. All right. We took our mics off everyone simply because it started to rain. But Sarah, where are we at? We're at Tracy's Crab Shack, and I'm, I'm scared of crab. No, it's okay. Because it's a lot of it's a lot of crab. No, but I am not. He's insisting I go get yep, crab legs. I am not going to eat anything or touch anything in there. So You're not airborne. But I'm not airborne. Really nervous because it's, it's all crab. <laughs> I'll be okay. Okay, we are eating outside of Tracy's Crab Shack. I refuse to eat inside. It's raining right now, but that's okay. Drizzle. Because I'm scared to have Brandon in there, even though he's. So fine. I say I'm fine, but yeah, there is uh, even me. I'm not ingesting anything, obviously, but there is crab everywhere, crab everywhere on the surfaces I'm and everything. Why I risked the epinephrine injectors? Because uh, I was yeah. going to skip this place. She actually was. So I am, no. everyone. I am insisting. Oh, Sarah, how is it? Mm, it's really. It's yeah, Sarah's already eaten some. I'm gonna pan it's down. It's all get up. Very good. It normally comes with rolls, but they gave me some coleslaw. 
because I couldn't have the rolls. I'm trying to focus. It's not working. Sorry, everyone. Okay. We'll get other we'll footage of it. But, um, so Sarah, how is it? This is world famous. I mean, it's fresh crab, so it's pretty, pretty yeah. epic. And it's huge. I'm going to have to hose myself down. We have Brandon has the whites with the ready. Sarah's everyone leave a comment tell Sarah she's overthinking this um have her enjoy this um and just go I'm not touching anything I'm jealous because I do remember what this all tastes like from like 15 years ago but uh anyway everyone we're gonna let Sarah enjoy we're gonna get some other footage sorry this this is not focusing correctly right now but uh anyway we're here we did it <laughs> it looks so good oh my gosh. all right and we are done eating king crab I would pose myself down on yep. the public restroom. I've cleaned so much. Poor Brandon's like, you're fine. I think. Well, because I don't normally eat crab legs around you. And that much, and you know, it was just like knife and fork, so yeah. I don't worry about us coming across contamination. And I know if you're new to this channel or you don't follow us, um, all joking aside, yeah, I, I have epinephrine injectors. I care not; they're not here. They're in my backpack. I carry them anytime we go to Disney and everything, just because. Yeah, it can. It can quite literally kill me, and it almost has before. Um, so I joke a lot, but yeah. So, so Sarah loves me enough to completely uh, disinfect I was like, herself. I'm not going to eat it. It tastes like it's cysteine. So I was like, if this is happening, then we are literally we have had. I took wipes. He had, he handed me like <laughs> without touching hands. We took wipes. And then I found a bathroom, and then I put yeah. myself down. And I'm still gonna hold myself yep. down with the bathroom. <laughs> and now, but the ship is right over there. We should be back on board in about five or ten minutes. Our valuable mistakes were made. We were, we just ran, not ran, walked very briskly up a hill. Um, we think we we're in its very spot. We were told we have an hour until we had the ship has to leave. We were told it was a ten minute walk. It has not been a ten minute walk. We should have taken the bus. The buses are free. Completely our fault. There goes one now. But uh, yeah. Disney did not get a good port this time. Everybody else has to write down. Yeah, all right, everyone, we just got back. Sarah is hanging up her jacket because it is quite sweltering in here, but uh, yeah. So, Sarah? We did it. Hold on. Oh, she's going to come check. up around here. Time, time check. check. Time what time check. is it? We're back in our stateroom. Time check. 4.13. 4.13. So we made it with time to spare, actually, but it did not feel like it. Everyone. Yeah. And the yeah. funniest thing Take is the bus. Take the bus. We were actually talking to some people in the elevator while we were waiting and when the elevator came and they said they did that last year because they came here last year and the guy we were talking to was like, I learned my lesson after yeah, that. Never again. Never again. So. But the good news is he did let us know when we dock in Ketchikan, it's right there in the town. Yeah. So you just get off and the town is right there. Which is which awesome. Is, so I think the only port where it's like. Juno. Yeah. So. Just but, know going in. If you were in the AJ dock, mm -hmm. you should take the bus. Take the bus. Um, don't don't take the bus. Don't be us. Hashtag take the bus. Don't be us. <laughs> Make it take the bus. Don't, don't be us. us. Take the bus. Don't be I us. I promise we're um, not we're not no, tipsy no. anymore. No, either. we're not even tipsy. But uh, we're gonna chill for about two hours. Four. Or five, yeah, about two yeah. hours, and then I head am down to Canada. Yeah, and yeah, disgusting. yeah, we're a mess. But uh, we're gonna chill, clean our glasses, clean all our electronics because they're all a mess. But uh, anyway, ready? To yeah, chillax. It was an awesome day. Awesome day. We'll talk about it in the debrief. Hashtag chillax. All right. We chillaxed in our room, took a breather. We're on our way to Cadillac Lounge now to meet up with uh, Sarah, Shannon, and William. Yeah, I'm excited. Right. Everyone, I just got the, the greatest thing of all time. For it is the greatest thing that's ever been got on a Disney cruise before. So look, this is the Ray. Your shirt is Ray the Firefly, your second favorite Disney character. Sometimes tied for first with Dumbo. Do we should, should we go into Dumbo again? Oh uh, no, please don't. But Ray, 
is the greatest hero in Disney of so all time. So what did you get? I got a, well, the Ray Firefly Sipper, which you can clip on yeah, to whatever or a shirt or something. I don't want to break it. I don't think I will. Oh, my goodness. Oh, everyone needed Brandon? Everyone? Oh, let us never forget Ray's infamous, infamous, famous word. Shadow Man doesn't live for Ray no. It is the saddest, most grotesque, hilarious death scene in Disney animated history. Oh, no. Brandon. He's all squished. No. And it's funny. But you just want to hold him. Just as Ray. Thing ever. Ray, the Firefly's brother with me. Also, I like how he's transparent like a Jedi ghost. Uh, because he is in the uh, the Firefly He's after one round, with the horse and the horse horses with, with him, and, and more importantly, Evangeline. Um, this is the greatest gift of all time that I just gave to myself um, for Sarah's permission. But um, can we turn him on? I didn't off? even need to give you oh. permission. I was like, we're buying yeah, this thing. So he's off. It's hard to he's see when he's clear. It's hard to see when he's clear. Yeah, hold on. And now he's on. I will find a spot to clip him for the rest of the dinner. Oh, Wait, oh he's God. solid red. Hold on. Let's make him green. Because that matches there. Oh, that, that matches there. Green. Hold on. Or blue. blue. And he should rotate through colors. Wasn't he rotating? He before? was rotating. Maybe there's a setting. I don't know how to Everyone, we don't know exactly what we're doing yet. Uh, but Ray, Raymond, is the best collectible I've got my entire life. So, uh, the four went out for Ray. All right, everyone. Oh, everyone, Ray just fell down. No. There we go. Shadow Man almost done Ray for Ray, though, again. I would like to sing in honor of Ray. We all know Dumbo and Princess and the Frog are the two best Disney animated films of all time. Dumbo and Ray are the two best Disney characters of all time. So let's combine. We all know Ray has met Evangeline up in the sky, so everyone sing together. Baby, mine, don't you cry. Baby, mine, don't you cry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let those eyes sparkle and shine. Never baby of mine. I love you, Ray. All right, Sarah. Okay, so we both got the web salad. Yes, we did. With some kind of cheese. I think it was Pepper Jack. Bacon and a Thousand Island dressing. Brandon loves the web salad, so he's probably going to dig into this and be very happy. I hope so. It looks good. Mm. You'll like that. Yep. Classic iceberg wedge. I like the kind of Thousand Island dressing on it. Nice and tangy. Cheese is good. The bacon is good. I like it. It's a good solid like wedge salad. I think awesome. you are really gonna like it. Ooh, am I really? I think is so. Is Ray gonna like it? Right, so uh, I got the uh, wedge salad as well. Um, Ray and I did. And we will. Sarah already said what it is. I will say this, cutting into it is falling apart immediately. And Ray, Ray is killing the lighting I'm in killing here. The sound. No, Ray is killing the lighting here. Oh. It's hard to focus with Ray. He's well, so bright. Ray might be killing the lighting, but Shadow Man done so well. Oh no. Um, it's really it's a good. Spice, right? oh, the cheese. Yeah, the cheese is spicy. What is the cheese again? It's pepper jack. Yeah. Okay. What you like. This is really good. All right, yeah. yeah he's, Very he's solid going in, salad. Because, like, you're going in for a second bite, so that's how yeah. you know it's good. Very solid salad. What does Ray think? Make it. Ray loves it. Ray loves it. Not as much as he loves Evangeline, but he does love it. Also, if you pan down here, it's green like Ray, and it has two of these little greeny things that look like his antenna. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think this is supposed to be Ray's like belly area. Oh no, we're just gonna keep it to ourselves. I don't know, but uh, Ray and I are gonna bite into this. So Brandon, all right. Uh, did Ray the Firefly make some magic happen? Ray the Firefly, Raymond, because we are here, and um, Alan, our outstanding server, which we've said over and over. Yeah, and over. he's awesome. Alan is awesome, but uh, it's 
I got another order, a different order. Different. From, this is the trouble yeah. pasta for that you had last night. And look, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, my, okay. it's like a double order. It's, I think it's a double order, everyone. So I, my entree may not be able to be eaten as much as I would like. But um, my guess is we got a double order because Ray needs to eat two. Oh, so, no. <laughs> I, I, listen, I have you're a smaller, eating, You're eating for I'm two I'm eating now. for two. I have a smaller okay. mouth to feed. We oh, okay. to know the feeling. What was that, Ray? Eat your pasta. you let everyone? Oh, she is. You know you probably said, come closer, Cher. <laughs> when Ray was a baby fireball, probably eight hours before he died, because I don't no. think they lived that long. But, um, Let's leave a comment come, there. How long do they live for? Um, to share because, to the yeah, that, instead of saying, instead of like a human being, where, where your mom said, "There's an airplane going in the hangar," Ray said, "Come close to share <laughs> with his little bow." Oh, Brandon's gonna start saying this to me every time we have dinner. Come close to so, share. Anyway, this is delicious. Thank you, Alan. Again, Alan's been an amazing server, and um, my guess is he actually did this for Ray, not for me. Just kidding. Okay, so our entrees came. They did. I think this is sea bass. He said sea bass. Oh, it's falling yeah. apart. Okay, good, yep. good. Yeah, With some uh, like jambalaya and shrimp and oh, like a shrimp remo on yeah. yeah, like a remoulade sauce. So I'm doing all the shrimp in like an orange style food. Shrimp is good. Shrimp is good. Oh, fight number two. Okay. Okay. Which is like falling apart. Oh. Uh, so good? Yeah. Well, I haven't eaten the fish yet. Oh. Mm. Oh. Really good. Oh. Weirdly, the rice is probably my least favorite part of this dish. But Which way for you? Overall, the, the sea bass is very well cooked. Okay. It's tasty. Well, Brandon and Ray's entree came. Alright, so, uh, yeah, me and Ray got our entree, and I got a very simple, uh, what is it? A New York? Uh, yeah, steak sirloin. Steak sirloin, yep, sorry. Mm. It's good. We could not, Brandon does not like the prime rib that they serve, so we just decided, which you can do, you can do the simple steak, you can do simple chicken, chicken Listen to everybody, steak. listen. Ray and I have something to tell you. Isn't that right, Ray? Um, and by the way, Ray is a solid color now. Sarah did say he was getting distracted, so I made him sit red in um, honor of Darth Maul, who also got cut down in the prime. Oh, and yes, I'm a Star Wars fan. I know Darth Maul came back. So I'm really um, but... What was the question? Oh yeah, the uh, the steak. I'm sorry, the normal steak, which the is prime my, rib. The prime rib. I'm not a fan of. I know a lot of people like it. A lot of people rave about it. I think I did the first time I ever had it, but I'm I'm, I'm tired of it. Uh, so yeah, but this is good. So yeah, let's get it. Okay, so my dessert is a kind of a combination. I got some caramelized bananas in rum, I think, and then a mango mousse. Which is the gluten free, dairy free dessert, actually. We were just talking to uh, Ashley uh, before our dinner. We met her earlier in the cruise and we were comparing notes. She mentioned this mix. Okay. A little blurry. Sorry for the footage, everyone. Uh, mango mousse is good. Okay. I love mango. And it's very light. Fresh mm -hmm. banana. Oh, what, what, what is, what is that, Cher? Cher, what's going on, Cher? They're very rummy. Oh, really? And also cold. Are they it's supposed to be? Maybe not the best caramelized banana. Okay. But I'll leave some of this, but I'm probably gonna mostly go with the mango. Mousse. Okay, so 50-50 on that one. 50-50. I'm not okay. sure I'm sold on the caramelized banana. All right. <laughs> Just like that, we are. Back in the room. Through the powers of editing. But, um, Sarah, let's do it. <laughs> Hashtag debrief. Intense debrief. <laughs> intense debrief. <laughs> the intensity of the debrief. <laughs> but, um, anyway, Sarah, take it away. Let's go. Well, 
it has been a very busy but very awesome day it's been an awesome oh day. my goodness there has been so much going mm -hmm. on i hope you enjoyed some of the highlights from our yeah. visit to the sled dog summer camp that it, was uh, the best so ever. let's let's talk about it then let's talk about it um would we recommend it highest of high recommends um it might not be for everyone, but it's probably for 90% of the people out there. Yeah, it was really fun. Mm -hmm. uh, very informative. Extremely informative. I mean, you know, one thing each there. What's something you learned at the sled dog summer camp? Well, I learned a, a lot. lot. I mean, I learned a lot. <laughs> I learned so a lot, yeah. I think one of the questions that maybe some people ask is like, are, who owns the dogs? How do the dogs That's what live I wanted you to talk there? about, yep. And I think this is really cool because not only were there a ton of mushers there who work with the dogs who race with the dogs who love the dogs mm -hmm. um there's also just a real connection to the iditarod history so they have a ton of information about the formation of the iditarod and a lot of the dogs are owned or are the lineage of the people who founded yep. the iditarod race the remington family mm -hmm. and you know, we actually saw one of the Remingtons, like, there, Robert Red... Robert? Red no, Reddington. Sorry, Reddington. And if we get anything wrong, yeah, we'll sorry. put a correction put at the bottom. So. But we saw him um, taking out another group of people. One of uh, the guys that we were talking to was like, oh, that's Robert yep. Reddington. And, you know, he's the one that's, like, getting ready to do some of the races and trying to get himself mm -hmm. a, a new group of doggos. But yeah, it was very informative from that perspective, like just understanding the yep. history of the racing and then you know, what the dogs, how they're cared for and all that kind of stuff. It was incredible. It was. I learned that on each leg of the Iditarod, there's a vet and all that goes with that. But anyway, extremely interesting. Um, okay. We we talked about any minuses to it. There's no minuses. I think if you could, they could add something to it. You get right on the sled then. Oh yeah, so I you think, explained it better. I don't know if it was because we were just having a regular conversation. There was only four of us. Oh yeah, our group was four people, two couples, yeah. us, and another couple who were amazing. They're also from Orlando, mm -hmm. so yep. And shockingly enough, our bus driver Dylan, Dylan was, was awesome. really informative. And we were just chatting with him. Yeah, it, yeah. About all sorts of general stuff. So maybe if you were on a regular mm -hmm. version of this and it was a larger bus, maybe you would get the announcement ahead of time that the first thing that you're doing is you're going straight into sled dogs. Yeah, like you're straight getting right to getting on, on that cart and being pulled by them. And you go fast. I you I didn't do. know what to expect. Um, the cart itself, minim the cart weighs 800 pounds, they said. Yes. You add our weight to it. And the dogs were pulling it like it was you picking up a piece mm -hmm. of paper. And then later on during the presentation, they said, of course, a regular sled and one musher and the Iditarod and all the equipment is like maybe 300 pounds, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Um, so this is like the dogs, you know, just getting those gains before the big one. And then yeah. so the actual it's race, is, is, it's great training. They said it's, it's like, uh, like lifting weights. For yeah. Me. And also they, they loved it. Yeah, they loved they it. They loved it. And... It is about a mile long when you're on uh, the mm -hmm. cart, um, so it isn't a super long time, but it actually felt, I thought it was a... It, I, thought I thought it, thought it felt, felt great. Good. Yeah. yeah, because it wasn't a solid mile you just went. He gave, stopped yeah, he during stopped it. Gave, all gave the him all breaks uh, so they could, and he said, so they could pee yeah. um, and chill out and mm -hmm. rest for a little bit, and then we continued. So it took a while, and he was extremely informative yeah. the entire time. Yeah, and they um, do rotate out. All yep. the different dogs know, and everything, packs of dogs yep. and stuff. So it isn't like the same dogs over and over all day. Yeah. They do rotate them out and give them breaks and stuff like that. Yeah. If, um, if you're a dog person, you're gonna want another dog or to get yeah. a dog. And if you're not, you will when you're done. Everybody we talked to there loved the dogs yep. and said that that's one of their favorite things. They get to, even if they're not mushers. They mm -hmm. like the one guy we were talking to said, "I just love dogs. This is an awesome job. And yeah. The dogs are awesome." And, and the puppies. Yeah. Were twelve days old. And and their mom, so Chief, Chief. Mom, their mom was in Chief. Mama. She was so good, and it was just precious. We uh, we chose not to hold on to him for long. I'm, I mean, they would have taken him from us anyway. But um, you know, get him back with mom and everything yeah, like that. Little, Chief, little, little they were tiny, but they were so good. Yeah, and they did say throughout the season, 
um, you will see older, like if you were coming mm -hmm. in July, you would actually see older those puppies. puppies moving up because to the they training are, areas. to the training yep. areas because they're a little bit bigger. And so just that cycle, but we're really early in the season. So they just had the, the very fresh yep. puppy babies. And um, they were adorable. Yeah. So, so great. I think we would both highly recommend yep. it. It was about two and a half hours, I think, total. That felt and, about And it was right about 30-minute drive one you know one way so mm -hmm. it was about an hour of driving so you again aren't there maybe a ton mm -hmm. but i think you said it you it were like it felt like the right amount of time it felt like the right amount of time uh you don't feel rushed yeah but you don't feel like you're also just kind of wasting time either yeah yeah it was very informative so i'm glad we really i'm right, really right. glad we got to do that it was yep those dogs were awesome yeah amazing so what's next and then we just explored juno we, we got did. to go to um the coffee shop surprise out of nowhere mm -hmm. super good highly recommend if you're in juno that's a great coffee shop yeah we heritage coffee went yeah heritage, heritage coffee very good we brought some coffee home to my mom or we mm -hmm. are bringing coffee home to my mom Spoiler as a souvenir. Alert, yep. um and then also see alaska heritage was like awesome. this, the center was awesome awesome yeah if you seven seven dollars to just give it to them and go in and enjoy. Yeah, and, and learn. And they did recommend that if we had mm -hmm. had more time to go over to the actual Alaska State Museum, yes. which we had planned to, but just time got away from us. And time did yeah, get away. Time. We did just get did away. not have the time. And also, we showed some from the gin distillery, Amalga mm -hmm. Distillery, which is downtown. That was awesome. Highly recommend it if you like that kind of stuff. The vibe was very chill. Mm -hmm. It was nice and relaxing. Drinks were great. Yep. Yeah definitely recommend loved it um got a geocache and then sarah got a crab leg yeah, two that, crab legs that was a lot they were this big it was a lot of crab and it was a lot of money a lot of, yeah, let's was. keep it real guys <laughs> but uh it was good right yeah it was okay. really good if you like crab it was all the crab is very expensive right now mm -hmm. so just bear that in mind there are different levels of pricing but um a very popular place i'm glad i got to try it it stressed me out a lot because I was, I was trying to make sure your yep. humble friend Brandon but made we, it through okay. We have covered that and I'm okay. Yeah, he's doing good. I'm fine. Um, and then we barely made it back to the ship. You're lucky you're seeing us. Oh my gosh, that was no. awesome. We had time, but uh, it was. We did, but it, it was it was late for us. Yep. Um, and then this evening, well, first of all, we came back to Room Chill, chill. which we told you all. But it was super awesome to get to meet up with some fellow folks who um, watch our channel mm -hmm. and chat with them. We had drinks at Cadillac Lounge. Yeah, we, we will Cadillac. maybe, I don't think we asked them if we could put their photo in. I but. did. I asked uh, oh, okay. Sarah, which not this Sarah. Oh, yeah. The other Sarah. 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 The, yeah, uh, one of them named Sarah. Name William, Sarah, and Shannon. But uh, I did ask Sarah, and she said that was fine. Okay, cool. Um, we will call her Canadian Sarah. Canadian from Sarah. Canada. Yes. This is... Just Sarah. She's the OG. No, Just this is American Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> Although, wait, Canadians are Americans, though, right? Well, they're North Americans. We're United Statesians. They're Canadians and Americans. I mean, it's part of okay. America, United North America. They, they are right? from North America. Leave a comment, everyone. <laughs> are people from Canada, the United States, and Mexico, and Brazil, and Argentina, and Peru, are they all Americans? I say the answer is yes to that question. I don't know. Anyway, we've been, it was wonderful. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. We got to chat with them for quite a while. Quite a and while. Yeah, that awesome. was really awesome to get to hang out with them. Cadillac Lounge. Mm -hmm. Cadillac Lounge continues to be an awesome location. Great live music. Um, and then we had dinner at Tiana's. Which? Cash the day. You saw that, but I would like to leave a comment about Tiana's. Um, we might put a little footage in here. Other vlogs, different channels have done an amazing Oh, I thought you were going to talk about Ray. Okay. No, we're we'll talking about Ray. I want to end with Ray. Um, but the little dance they do at the end. The little um, Mardi Gras dance. little Mardi Gras dance. I wrongly thought it was going to be kind of annoying. Kind of like, okay. How we it go. was fun. Um, Even as a bystander. Yeah, we, we didn't get involved. I mean, we did. We clapped, yeah, we which did. is part of it. Um, but it, it brought an actual genuine energy to the room. Yeah, and fun. it was a ton was fun. of fun. So, yeah. Every video we've seen from Sarah's yawning now, Sorry, from everyone yawn. else, um, some good videos out there. There's some great videos, but to me, it always looked kind of annoying. No, 
Highest oh. recommend. Yeah, and the food awesome. was actually food pretty was pretty good. good. Yeah, the, um, the menu was actually pretty. Yeah, good. it was good. And then, but most importantly, Ray, who is sadly, oh, he's, he's up there. A, he's he's, he's nap. that direction. He's taking a nap. We turned him off. We don't want to burn him out. But um, Ray was awesome. Ray will forever be a part of both our lives, I think, going forward. And um, I'm saying it here for everyone. So hold Sarah to it. I want to be buried with Ray. That little Ray. That's not true. Or is it? But no. Um, no, no. Ray is awesome. I don't, I didn't know. They're like, you want a Ray Sipper? I'm like, what in the world is that? And they brought out... Why we needed to spend $6.50? I do not know. But... Because Ray needed to come home where he's safe. <laughs> but um, with Evangeline. He, he, they need to sell a little Evangeline glowing thing, too. I'll buy that. But um, does everyone remember RoboCop? I'd buy that for a dollar. Um... Hmm. So anyway, dinner was good. Yeah, dinner was good. Okay. <laughs> um, that's it. Oh, so, foghorn. Oh yeah, they did tell us. Cap the you probably captain, can't hear it, but the captain did say that we were heading into a lot of fogs. So we might hear foghorns tonight, um, and it is it is super creepy outside. Yeah, there's. We would show you normal like maybe establishing video or something. There's no reason to. It's oh, just. It's it's just creepy outside. Every so often you see vague little islands or land in the yeah, distance. The fog and it, is, it looks like a haunted something. Yeah, the, the fog is, is definitely wild. So, anyway, we're about 12 minutes in, Sarah. Okay, let's cap out with what we yep. are doing tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, we are going to... Brandon, do you know what we're doing tomorrow? I froze. I okay. believe it's Ketchikan. Yes, we are docking and, and Ketchikan we are tomorrow. We are docking and Ketchikan tomorrow, and we are going on a... Five and a half hour. Ooh, um, what's it called? We're gonna go look it's for a, wildlife. Yeah, we're going to the Misty Fjord National. The Park. Misty Fjords. Does everyone remember the Misty Mountains from oh, Middle no. Earth? Oh no. Do you remember you, the Misty Mountains? From well, Middle I do, Earth? but I thought you were gonna sing it there. Dun so, please don't. From dungeons deep <laughs> and caverns low, the fires. Okay. You know, if you just come to this channel and don't know us or something, you're going to say, what the heck is going on here? But we're going to continue mushing forward. Oh, boy. I like a, bringing it all in there. I Good brought job. it around. So let's continue. Okay, so we are Go doing ahead. a five and a half hour <laughs> tour on a bus through the Misty Fjord National uh, Park area. You that's can a national look, park? Yeah, that's cool. National Monument. One of those something. things. No, that's I cool. I want to That's awesome. So... It will be super fun. It looks like the only real good ways you can get through most of it is by either a boat or by seaplane. Okay. Seaplane seems a little scary. So we're skipping the seaplane. But it should be fun with the with the boat because hopefully we'll see some additional wildlife. We're going to bring the binoculars because it is such a long one. We'll probably be inside and outside. Listen to the yep. narration. Take a rest. Go out. It should be fun. Yeah, I can't wait. And, uh... Then, well, oh, we won't we, go to the next Yeah, day and we are going to go into Ketchikan a little bit. Yep. Because it is, here's the, this is a bummer. Mm -hmm. So our, we arrive around 11 o'clock, or we are able to get off the ship around 11 o'clock in Ketchikan. Yeah. In yeah, the morning. Yeah. So we're not there early. Uh, like we have been the last couple of days. And we leave at 745. Our excursion was initially set for 11. It got changed to 2 o'clock. So basically we have like maybe two hours at most in Ketchikan, Ketchikan yeah. to actually shop and to look around. So it is going to be a little bit hectic getting off the ship for a little bit and then getting back. Because I'm also kind of nervous that they're going to change our, our time. So we need to be on top of this. Yeah, and we can't check if we're not on the ship. That's the problem. That is a problem. That that is the major problem. So I'm a little scared about yeah. it. <laughs> so, but we will we'll get it all worked out, everyone. We'll get yeah. it all worked out. So but don't we know as you watch this, you are worried. You're sitting there on your couch with your loved Sarah, ones. Sarah, Brandon, will you make it? What is going on with Sarah and Brandon? Is Ketchikan going to doom them? Is it? Are they done? Yeah. The good thing is, stay tuned. Next bat, next same bat time. Same bat channel. Same bat channel. The one good thing is, our excursion is set from two o'clock. We are set to leave Ketchikan at seven forty-five. We are going to have the true test of if our excursion runs over. Yeah. We booked th directly through Disney. Disney. So, so they should hold the ship. Because right, as of right now, we'd get back at 730, which is 15 minutes before the ship is set to leave. So, 
the whole this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we booked through Disney. Disney. We booked through Disney. But anyway, that's it. I wonder how many people. Yeah, I was just going to say, I wonder how many people will be on this excursion. Hopefully just us, but I think it's going to be a lot. Yeah. I do. But uh, stay tuned for that. You guys will see that soon. Yeah, so I think that's it. That's it. Thank you. tired. (laughs) Yes. Thank you to our patrons on Patreon, our subscribers, and uh, leave a comment. Thumbs up, Bell. You know the drill. Ready to go to bed. Oh, but Brandon is super tired, so you know Brandon's tired when he's not playing. I can't say all the comments. All All the things. All the things. Yeah. We'll see you in a few hours. Thank you for watching. A few days. Well, I mean, on. Yeah. Yeah, They know what we mean. You know what I mean. We'll see you soon. You'll see us in the next (laughs) video. Bye. Bye.